I'm not sure if you've how much time you spend in L.A., Florida, and you hear me talking to other artists, but you made a statement to me a while back, and I know it was a big joke, but it stuck in my head, and I, I usually bring this up to other people all the time. Um, Florida told me once that he he made it rain. You know, he was just throwing crazy cash out. Which, Thunder light, man. Yeah, just 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 stupid money. Then you told me you you wrote it off on taxes. Real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I got to thinking, you know, that that I don't know how you would fill out the government paperwork and or it's got to be a bitch getting receipts, you know. Definitely. It got like a scroll. Like. <laughs> but you could pro- you, clearly you don't do that. Just to clarify, I'm right, not that crazy. But I think you could. I really do. And let me explain my theory. And you tell me where break I'm Break it on. down. Break it down. It's promotional dollars. You can write off spending money on a headshot so you can sign flow writers and basically you're saying here's my brand you know i'm pretty cool consider buying one of my albums that's what you're doing throwing money you're not throwing money out because you want that girl to get six dollars so that means you're gonna join me on the strip club tour and we're gonna go in yes you could you could i really think now it's in the wording on the on the government you know on the little form there that's the rub but it's, I'm convinced that there is a way. I'm all about saving a dollar, so holla. All right. Uh, before I get to the album, which, by the way, album details and music and all that coming up, uh, any new tattoos since I've seen you? Any, give me a tattoo update. No more tattoos. None. Uh, nah. Why not? What's up? I think I got enough pain um, early on. All right. Back in the day. I'm, I'm just got my starter kit going, so I'm trying. Uh, Oscar weekend stories. I know you did the uh, Kelly and Michael thing yesterday. What's uh, k- any any fun stories from Oscar weekend? Oh, man, it was amazing, you know, to actually go out and perform and everything. Um, you know, I'm always a big fan of um, Michael and his career. Kelly, I think she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but, um, and she commented on my cologne. She was like, you smell so good. And then Mikey was just like, man, that shirt you got on, man, I, I need one of those. So I got to probably look out for him. What, what kind of cologne? What kind of? What do you wear? Just so on the low, low, low. We got to keep that on the low. You know, I want everybody smelling like me. <laughs> okay. Then I can't. Ha- I can't be the bachelor. All right. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Any crazy fan encounters? So let me refer- let me rephrase it. Psycho fan encounters. Most of your fans are good. I understand. But do you have a? You got a nut bag or two in the mix? I'm guessing, right? I mean, I had this one um girl. She actually. It, it was like. A crowd of probably like 70,000 people, barricades and everything. So I'm on stage and um, police and everything is up there. I turn my back and I look at the jumbo screen before I can really focus in on it. She's on my back. Like <laughs> I'm like, wow, you got past Big Zach and the police. You need to be on my team. No, you yeah. Know? So uh, did you let her ride on the back for a while? No, nah, you know, I, I okay. actually let her stay backstage. We, you know, signed some autographs and stuff. That's got to be weird to look at the Jumbotron. You're like, wow, that that, that looks like me, and that looks like a girl. Wait a minute. (laughs) Bam. (laughs) Did you get her? Did she? Oh, by the way, did you you get her name and like an autograph? Nah, nah. I mean, I gave her an autograph, but I didn't remember her name. Hotel room? Did, was she like one of those? Um, you know, I had a lot a lot of people slide notes up under my door. Um, at the hotel? The craziest thing is when um, the hotel workers actually, if they come, they, I have people come in my room. And say, can I take a picture? Like late night, like that's the scariest. So <laughs> awkward. But it mostly happens in other countries, yeah. So you're sitting there, I'm guessing, like watching TV in your underwear, and they walk in and want a photo. What do you do? Can I take a picture? You're like, uh, get out of here, Flo. Give me some details on. We'll get to the single, going down for real, in a second. I know you're gonna perform all that, but details on. Album in progress and oh, yeah, you update know, me on everything. Actually, I was going over some artwork for the album. Finally got it. It's called My House. You know, um, that's off of one of the records that's on the album. And um, so far, you know, we got the record with Sage the Gemini. Got a record with um, Chris Brown on the album. Got a record with Robin Thicke on the album. And it has the guitars from uh, Earth, Wind & Fire. And it's like amazing. I'm definitely excited about this album. And, you know, I call this album My House because I feel like you guys have been rocking with me since day one. So I'm very hospitable. My house is your house. Yeah. Nice. Except for the lady in the hotel that just jumped in your room. Maybe not. Right. Yeah, that one cameras <laughs> what's Everywhere. the what's the uh do we have a target release date on that or just when it's ready it's ready kind of oh thing? yeah you know as far as official official release date you can go to officialflow.com or on my instagram at official underscore flow and that goes for my twitter as well all right before you perform this track uh going down for real featuring sage gemini uh any backstory on this track anything um, you know 
yeah, I mean, um, it's the it's the song of the NBA. Definitely, I'm um, happy about that and honored. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, it's just a, a part of a conversational piece going down for real. I mean, I'm the life of the party. Sage is the life of the party, and my crew know anywhere we go around the world. You know, we we can't leave without letting people know that hey, we we run the party. So going down for real is definitely um, something that represents me well.